I've been using a dip pen since my student days, which was quite a long time ago. I love to use ink as it can add an incredible amount of contrast to a sketch and gives me the chance to add more details to my watercolours. Although you can see that the watercolour takes up a large proportion of the page, the input from the ink is equally important. Imagine if you took away that entire watercolour paper, what you're left with wouldn't really make sense. When I work like this, it's like the ink and the watercolour are kneaded together to tell a story and this combo is really a partnership. It also means the watercolour layer can be quite underworked than what you might expect. I've found that this approach really helps with some of the overworking that sometimes happens as it's like you're given a second opportunity to make things right. When beginners start with ink lines, they can look quite awkward with not very much character, so it's really important that you learn how to vary the pressure when applying the ink strokes to really bring them to life. This is a technique I am really familiar with, so don't expect to be producing the same sort of results after watching a short YouTube video. And I do urge you not to become too fixated by achieving the same sort of results that you see me do here. From my own experiences as a self-taught watercolourist, my sketches became much looser after I gained confidence, so my strokes have become freer and letting them do the work instead of overpainting areas. I think one of the keys to achieving a successful watercolour in a loose style is simplicity. Although it's best not to confuse a loose appearance with a loose approach, there still has to be some foundations which includes shape, value and contrast in order for the piece to remain recognisable. And working fast but intentionally really helps with that need to add too many details. By using ink line, it will help you to develop confidence and patience because you do have to be mindful of every mark that you put down. It's not like pencil where if you make a mistake, you can rub it out because with ink, you either have to figure out how to cover it up or accept the mark you've created. I do have a Skillshare class on combining expressive and loose watercolour with dip pen details that will help you to add character and linear qualities to your sketches. And in this class, I do give a rough guide to nibs, holders and inks before moving on to ink line practice. And the Skillshare class will be great if you've just started or if you want to add that extra element to your own watercolour sketches. All the video lessons are packed full of handy hints so you can really have fun with this and take advantage of this technique.